everyone. I'm Jensine Bard, and welcome to Testimony, where truth is told, lives are changed, and hope is given. Revelation 12:11 tells us that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. A testimony of your story for His glory. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the voice of my next guest, whose recent collaboration with actress, author, renowned television host, singer, and Jewish believer in Messiah, Kathy Lee Gifford, is the song you are about to hear in full at the end of this broadcast. A song of joy and much-needed focus, which we will talk about today. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome back to Testimony, that voice Always a joy, niece of slain civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr., evangelist, pro-life activist, best-selling author, actress, film producer, Fox News contributor, and yes, singer to her latest just-released single, Your Way, Yahweh. Please welcome my dear friend, Dr. Alveda C. King. Alveda, welcome back to Testimony. Jen Singh, welcome back, and there's always a testimony. I'm so glad that you capture these airwaves and then release these testimonies for everybody to hear. And yes, I have some testimonies today. So hello, everyone, and Jen Singh, it's always a joy to speak with you. It really is. Well, the joy is all mine, Alveda. Uh, I've had the great joy of bringing your voice to testimony many times, over the years, and you never cease to amaze with your tireless, creative, and ongoing efforts to unite our nation in life, in the Lord, and yes, song two. That said, before we get to your latest inspirational hit, I want to read, in part, an honor you recently received from our 45th President of these United States, Donald J. Trump, that speaks to a life of service, and beautifully so, the President's Lifetime Achievement Award, and I quote in part, quote, On behalf of a grateful nation, I thank you for your lifetime of service to your fellow Americans and those most in need, quote, You have ensured the continuation of America's unparalleled commitment to improving the lives of of others, quote, you have served as a model in the American spirit. Your many hours of service have strengthened the bonds of cooperation and trust that bring people together while helping to address some of the greatest challenges of our time, quote, each generation of hardworking and kind-hearted volunteers helps to write a new chapter of American greatness, and our nation is proud for your commitment to this honorable tradition, quote, as we reflect on your many acts of kindness and charity throughout your life, our nation draws inspiration from those who answer the call to help communities and our nation, and lastly, quote, with your continued efforts to bring on our nation's culture of service, America will proudly remain a land of freedom and opportunity for all, end quote. And this, not all, of what was written to underscore a life of service, Alveda King, your love for life 
and frontline strategic and tireless efforts to achieve just that an example for us all. That said, Dr. Alveda King, how meaningful is this highly coveted award from the 45th President of the United States and especially now in view of the anniversary of George Floyd's death at the time of this recording? Jensen, when I think about it, and I have nominated people for awards, I have applauded people who received awards, and it has just been very amazing through my life to know great people who have given their lives for service. It finally sinks in that at 70 years old, I have actually devoted much of my life to service. However, I was brought up to believe that that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> so I never sought a war for doing what I was supposed to do. And people ask me, how does it feel when you receive awards? And it really is an honor. It means that people have stopped and taken notice. And I really do appreciate that. I appreciate more the people who have worked alongside me, like you and so many other people. And great, great greatness is always manifested in service. God says, Jesus, if you want to be great in God's kingdom, you have to be a servant of all. So service is connected to greatness. What was shocking to me about this particular award, to receive this award, the recipient has to demonstrate that he or she has contributed at least 4,000 hours of community service that was not preaching, was not donations, and they had a whole list of categories as to what they could not be. What is absolutely amazing to me is that someone was able to capture, study, and discover that I had been busy with service and to document it. So it's just amazing that there are wars in this life. I believe the Bible says, give honor to whom honor is due. So I really honestly appreciate it. Amen. But my Amen. goal in life has always been to serve. And I was really taught by my family, my daddy, A.D. King, my mama, Naomi King, my grandparents, Daddy King and Mama King, Martin Luther King Jr. We just serve. That People say, what do you do? I said, I serve God and I serve his people. I guess that's all I can say. I don't know. Amen and amen. Well, humbly said, and as I alluded to earlier in my introduction of you, an example for us all. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Dr. Alveda C. King, her latest CD release, Your Way, Yahweh. To the song, Your Way, Yahweh, Alveda, how did it come about as well as your collaboration with renowned television host, actress, and singer, Kathy Lee Gifford? In 2019, at our church, I can't believe it's Bible Christian Church in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been there since 1987. My pastor, Alan McNair, and his wife, Anna McNair, they have gone to heaven now. And his son, Pastor Theo McNair Jr., Theo Allen McNair Jr., is the pastor. I've been in the worship department and on the teaching staff of the church as a volunteer ministry of help for all these years. Wow. So in 2019, we, we received a new song, and the name of the song was Yahweh. We began to study Yahweh. Yahweh is God, but what does it mean when you call the name Yahweh? We know there's power in the name of Jesus. That's the name above every name. But we begin to study Yahweh, Adonai, speaking of Christ, Adonai, Master, Savior, Master, I am your handmaiden, Adonai. So we began to think about the names of God and learn this song called Yahweh. And so I kept saying to myself, your way, Yahweh. I don't want to do it my way, Yahweh. I want to do it your way, Yahweh. <laughs> <laughs> so I began to write some notes. I began to write a poem. And then in 2020, I kept saying, somebody needs to know. We need another Yahweh song. <laughs> and then in 2021, 
my granddaughter, one of my grandchildren, I have 11, she was looking at the names of God up over my mantle, my fireplace. And I was talking about Yahweh and Adonai. Well, who is Adonai? That's our master. That's Jesus. That's God. That's Yahweh. Well, who is Yahweh? <laughs> so I said, right. oh, my goodness. So I began to write, Yah, Yah, Yah. Yah, Yah, Yah. Your way, Yahweh. It became a song. My manager, Dr. Chris Leader, knows Ian Eskelin, and Ian wrote God is on the move. The song, God is on the move, on the move, hallelujah. Right. So we went to Franklin, Tennessee, went to the studio. We were having dinner the evening before the recording session. Kathy Lee Gifford walks through. We look at each other. We run towards each other. I just love you. I just love you. You're great. You're great. You know, we're <laughs> doing all of that. What are you doing here? I said, well, Kathy Lee, I'm here to do a song. Your way, Yahweh. Oh, that's great. I know you're going to be good. Okay. See you later. She's going towards the door. You need to sing Yes, Yeshua in that song. I was like, yeah, she's right. So she goes towards the door. I tell somebody, catch her, catch her. Tell her to come by the studio and sing that on the track. Guess who came to the studio? (laughs) Cassie Lee Gifford. And she sang remarkably. I did the first verse. She did the second verse. The uh, bridge is, we have 40, somewhere between 40 and 43 names of Yahweh in a bridge in a song that's not four minutes long. Can you imagine getting that done? No. And yes, we did it. (laughs) That is fantastic. And it's a fabulous song that we are going to hear in its entirety at the end of this broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, again, you're listening to Dr. Alvida C. King, her just released single, Your Way, Yahweh. We're going to hear more about this. But Alvida, I would be remiss if I did not ask you to address the following for our listeners. Much has happened since now President Joe Biden took office on January 20th, 2021, a day that will live in infamy for the 75 to 80 million voters that feel disenfranchised because of, quote, election fraud, a Supreme Court who refused to even hear the case, complicit media, big tech, and now major corporations shutting down and shutting out conservative voices of any kind, add to this cancel culture, Black Lives Matter, critical race theory and ethnic studies being shoved down the throats of our children in the textbooks they read, out of control borders and spending, in short, a reversal of everything President Donald J. Trump fought to give America and its people to keep us safe, protected, respected, and prosperous. Your thoughts on handling slash confronting this barrage of evil and moving forward as a people and a nation, Alveda. A scripture comes immediately to mind first as I address these issues. Why so downcast? O my soul, put your trust in God. So as we do that, we're standing in the face of all of these issues that Jinsing has just named, and then we're reminded of David. He saw all of that, too, in his time. And then he looks at Goliath, the giant, and he says, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? So as we ask those questions, we remember that Joshua, in the Old Testament, sent spies out to spy out the land. There were several of them, but only two came back and said, we could take it. We could have victory. The grapes are as big as our hands, one grape. And they talked about all the bounty and the beauty. Now the others, there are giants in the land. We look like grasshoppers. What is the difference between one who sees all of this trouble and our hearts sees us? And the dismay begins to stress us out and make us sick. And I've been guilty of that. Now, I'm not saying I'm Miss Perfect and haven't had any anxiety. I have had anxiety. And I've had to take deep breaths. George Floyd, I can't breathe. Mm -hmm. I have remembered how important it is to breathe in the breath of God and to get still and find some solutions. Now, 
it was so shocking and startling when President Biden on National Day of Prayer never mentioned God. Right. Either he forgot or he didn't mention God on purpose, but either one is terrible. Exactly. So we who still believe in God must cry out to God. When I hear about the aborted babies, and there are so many, or the human trafficking, there's so much. Poverty is terrible. The threats of war, all of that. We do have to remember, you mentioned critical race theory. Jensen, there really is a critical race. It's called the one blood, one human race. Amen. That's the critical race. The Bible speaks of a race of giants, a race of Nephilim, a race of lion-like people. That's three different races. The human race is not divided into races because of skin color. We have red blood. We are human beings. We are one human race, which led my uncle, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., to be able to truly say we must learn to live together as brothers, and I had a sister, or perish together. So he didn't say fools. He didn't say neighbors, cousins any of that. We are brothers and sisters, certainly in Christ. Biologically, there's only one human race. Scientifically, there's only one human race. So yes, there is a critical race, people. It's called the human race. (laughs) Amen and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, again, Dr. Alveda C. King. Alveda, you've answered this question in part already. People are getting tired of, quote, running the race quote, fighting the good fight, but instead are looking for ways to escape and not necessarily in ways that are healthy, productive, or positive, but destructive. Instead, an exponential rise of abuse, suicide, alcohol, and drug addictions, mental health, and medications, the topic of the day, the list goes on. Talk about your views, which you have in part already, on achieving, quote, balance amidst the storms of life, trusting God, loving people, and praying with purpose, redemption, the goal. Your thoughts? Jen Singh, on my show, Fox Nation, I have two television shows now streaming, and one is Fox Nation, I'll be the King's House, and the other one is Pro-Life Praise on endabortion.tv. And we play music there. I talk about hobbies. I have guests to come in and speak. On Alveda King's house, I actually cook. It's not a cooking show. It's a magazine show. One thing that people always ask me there, and I say I have hobbies. What do I mean by that? Why is it important to have a hobby? Two of my hobbies are reading romance novels, Christian romance novels. And one of my favorite recipes that I demonstrate on television is called Trifle. Those emerged in England as a little quick dessert. And I learned about trifles and certain other recipes in my readings. I have a hobby of gardening. I'm not the greatest gardener in the world, but when I garden and things grow and I can bring them in the house and pickle them or cook them, that relaxes my mind. Whatever it is that we are doing, we must be first anchored in Christ. We must have stress release that's not pills and shots and substance abuse or uh, physical misconduct. I mean sexual or whatever, but we need to have healthy stress relief, healthy recreation in Christ. Nobody should be a warrior 24-7 for 365 days Amen. without some break, some rest. Our hope is in Christ. God is our Father. God loves us, and God wants us to recreate a little bit. I just needed to add that. Amen and amen, and you actually answered my follow-up question. We are definitely on the same page here. You do have a new show on Fox Nation, Alveda King's House, where you gather friends and family around your table for a meal you have prepared. And the conversation that follows, it's a great show. I loved watching it. Talk about the importance of meaningful fellowship, sometimes the greatest extender of an olive branch there is. One thing that has been fascinating to me throughout COVID, and in my cookbook, Gigi's Home for the Holiday, I did my casual photos on the front, me cooking in the middle of COVID. I talk about inside how 
when I couldn't even visit my family and friends, I went and bought boxes of donuts and drove by, called and blew the horn, and they ran out in the mask and got them so I could at least wave. We came up with creative ways to fellowship, to talk. Zoom, many of us who were just totally illiterate with uh, streaming and the Internet learned how to do Zoom. And we began to talk to each other that way. Fellowship is important. It's essential. First, fellowship with God. We need to spend time with God. And then with each other. And as we do that, we find that therein lies some of our peace. So I want to encourage those who are listening. If you've isolated yourself so far that you have not been able to recreate or congregate or fellowship, it's time now to look for more opportunities to do that. Amen and amen. Well said. In our remaining time here today, Alvita, will your song, Your Way, Yahweh, bring the much needed balance and focus your thoughts and what this song has meant for you personally and especially now? The song resonates in my heart. The words, yes. Yeshua, Kathy saying that. I sing through the song, King Jesus. I'm mindful of Jesus Christ. And every day I said, yes, Lord, your way, Yahweh. Yes, Lord. And many times I'll wake up in the morning, yes, God, no devil. <laughs> and then I go ahead into my day. So the song is scriptural. The names of God are phenomenal. They're 40 to 43. I have to count them again to make sure we didn't leave any of those out. And so the song is very, very special. My granddaughter inspired it. Kathy Lee helped to light the fire. The whole production thing, the background singers and everyone. So we'd love for everyone to listen to that song and share that song and begin to sing the song. Amen and amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been listening to founder of Alveda King Ministries, Civil Rights for the Unborn, and PriestsForLife.org evangelist Alveda C. King. Her latest just-released CD single, Your Way, Yahweh, in collaboration with Kathy Lee Gifford, a must-listen for joy, a must-listen for for life. You can learn more about Dr. King's work, ministry, and mission by visiting alvedakingministries.com, civilrightsfortheunborn.org, and priestsforlife.org, and get inspired, help support, and then get involved by becoming a leader in your own community. You will be blessed and given joy that you did. Dr. King Alveda, thank you for raising the bar for all of life. Black, white, brown, yellow, or mix. We are all, as you say, quote, one blood, one human race. And now with your latest must listen, your way, Yahweh is a wonderful reminder that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life as the scriptures declaring that through him we really do have the answers we need in this life and the one to come and powerfully so we thank you god bless you and now ladies and gentlemen i give you alveda king and kathy lee gifford in their song for all of america and the world your way yahweh
Testimony is a global broadcast made possible by the generous contributions of our valued partners at Gensine Bard Ministries and you, our listening audience. Together, we are reaching souls for Christ, one testimony at a time. If you would like information on how you can support this broadcast with your tax-deductible gift, please visit us at jensinebard.com. That's one word, J-E-N-S-I-N-E-B-A-R-D dot com. And join the conversation at our Facebook page, Testimony with Jensine Bard. Thank you for listening, and please join us again for Testimony. Testimony.